Hey guys, welcome back to the channel techbeast.org. So today I have come up with something interesting. I'm gonna introduce you guys a new IoT platform called Bolt IoT. Okay, so you can basically use this to manage, uh, control, and monitor your IoT devices. So we are going to set up an automated lighting system using this Bolt IoT platform and a TP-Link uh, light bulb. Okay, so when I say automated, which means uh, based on the ambient uh, light conditions. Okay, so we are going to control our TP-Link. Uh, bulbs uh, brightness if it is too bright outside and your light your bulbs will turn off and if it is like uh, slowly uh, getting darker your brightness of your tp link bulb will be uh, changing accordingly okay so that's why i call it like automated lighting system so so in case if you want to know more about tp link light bulb so we have made some videos already so you can always check it out uh, if you are interested in learning and have given i have given the links in the description okay so let's uh, get into the topic straight so about Bolt IoT. So basically, Bolt IoT is a small uh, Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller. I can say. So it's like a Arduino. So most of the IoT enthusiasts uh, who are watching this video, so you guys know or you have played out the Arduino board. So it's it's similar to Arduino. I can say it's a Wi-Fi enabled microcontroller, and uh, they have a cloud platform. So basically, you can use that platform to uh, control and monitor IoT devices, and even you can manage your devices. Okay. So you can rely on this Bolt IoT platform to uh, rapidly develop IoT solutions. So if you have a POC uh, in your mind and you have your sensors and the Bolt IoT in your hand, so you can just plug in the devices and the sensors to the GPIO. You can immediately onboard the device to the cloud platform and you can start getting the data and make your own graph and do some ML predictions and all those. Okay, so you can always uh, you can also run uh, ML algorithms to forecast and predict your uh, next data set. Okay, so machine learning and artificial intelligence is something uh, uh, something very important. We all need to uh, keep an eye on. Okay, so because IoT without AI is like uh, it's like uh, I, I don't I don't uh, say it's gonna be a, a good use case we are, we are going to build just by monitoring and controlling so you need to apply some intelligence you need to put some machine learning you need to put some artificial intelligence and how your data is gonna helpful for the industries okay so that's where the the beauty of the IOT is there okay so that is very important so using Bolt IOT platform you can also run uh, ML algorithms and you can easily deploy IOT applications without significant expertise okay so that is one of the key feature of this platform I'll say so you don't need to be an expert in software or hardware okay so as long as you can um, just like browsing a web page you can able to uh, log into the platform just add your device to the cloud just by following some steps you can easily onboard your devices and you can start collecting your IOT data okay so in case if you're planning to purchase one so uh, this few seconds is for you guys so basically you can uh, get your internet of things and machine learning training so which also includes a bolt iot kit along with some sensors jumper wires breadboards okay so everything is like a package so in case if you want to purchase and if you are uh, within india region okay so you can able to use this subscription code okay tech beast rg i have given the link in the description so if you are uh, planning to buy or if you are interested to explore these new products so you can always uh, click it uh, click the link and you can apply uh, the coupon uh, the referral code okay and you can uh, get one okay so let's uh, see our setup today so this is this is our setup for today's uh, topic so here you see the bolt iot so this is how the bolt iot looks like okay and this is the ldr sensor okay so which basically monitor your uh, ambient light so that's why here i have mentioned the sunlight okay um, then i have connected one end to the analog pin another end to the 5 volt uh, input and i have also connected a resistor okay so so this is how the circuit board i can say then uh, we are going to onboard this uh, bolt iot and manage this bolt and manage this product called uh, light sensor in the bolt iot cloud okay so from there uh, we are going to call an api we can get the light uh, the present value of the light okay so the light intensity and based on uh, keeping this as an input we are going to control our tp link lights brightness okay so this is really a cool experiment you know you can able to say uh, well, let's say i've implemented the solution in a big building okay so and you are controlling the lighting's brightness based on your uh, ambient uh, lighting uh, 
intensity so this is gonna be uh, a good use case and you can able to uh, manage your energy consumption okay so you can able to save some cost uh, in your uh, energy bills okay so this this is uh, very important when it comes to building management uh, systems okay this is one of the uh, pretty good use case you can always rely on so I'm gonna show it how you can do it using uh, bolt IOT and TP link bulb today okay so let's uh, straight away uh, get our hands dirty now so here is the Bolt IoT platform. I have logged into the Bolt IoT platform. So basically, if you have the Bolt IoT uh, kit in your hand, okay. So what you're gonna do is, uh, so basically there is a text tutorial and also a video tutorial. So you can just simply follow, okay. So what are the steps? It's it's quite simple. So all you need is <coughs> just power it on. Then you need to connect it to your um, uh, home Wi-Fi via the uh, Android or the iOS app provided okay so basically you need to follow all these steps uh, just to uh, connect your uh, Bolt IoT kit uh, to the IoT platform the cloud platform okay so it's it's pretty simple so I have I have followed the steps here and I have already uh, onboarded my device okay I already onboarded my Bolt kit uh, to the IoT platform okay so the interesting thing here is uh, it's the products so basically all the sensors we are gonna connect uh, to this bolt IOT kit will be classified as a product so, okay so if you're connecting a, a light sensor it will be a new product if you're connecting a temperature sensor it will be a new product so let's say if it is a buzzer or LED okay so everything is a new product so basically you need to create a product and you need to link the product with the uh, corresponding bolt IOT and you can start reading the data okay so now let's uh, create a simple uh, first of my first product for this experiment so here as I said we are going to um, uh, use a light sensor right so to, to take the uh, environmental uh, light value so for that I'm gonna add a new product so I'm going to name my uh, product name as a light sensor so just follow the naming convention so my light sensor is an input device and I'm going to connect it to my GPIO okay and I uh, just click done so once you add the device you need to configure it so let's uh, go to the uh, configuration panel and uh, you can just straight away go to the hardware. So this is basically the schematic of uh, the Bolt IoT. This is how it looks like. So in uh, my case, I have connected my uh, LDR sensor to the analog zero channel, okay? So you just need to choose uh, analog A0 here and you just need to give a variable name. So in my case, my variable name is gonna be light, okay? So here uh, you can configure the data collection rate. So by default, uh, it it's a, it's a free it's a free version okay so if you are uh, paying for a pro version okay you can collect the data from uh, with the frequency interval of 30 seconds okay uh, but in my case it is uh, five minutes okay so that's that's what they uh, provide for a free version okay so due to the limitations uh, in the apis and the database and uh, all those kind of stuffs okay so five minutes is pretty good because um, I don't think the light is gonna vary in uh, five minutes so for our use case five minutes is a uh, good uh, frequency interval I will say okay so I have chosen this and we can save this hardware first okay so I'm gonna save the hardware configuration here once we save the hardware configuration you can go to uh, the code snippets uh, basically uh, there are a lot of sample code snippets available so based on your requirements uh, okay liability control line graph histogram bar graph okay so in my case it's a it's a light uh, a light data right so which will be uh, in the units lux uh, uh, so we can just plot it in a line graph so i'm going to choose it uh, choose the line graph as my uh, code snippet and you can select it so my variable I'm gonna uh, collect here is the light okay so just choose light and you can generate it okay so then click insert so please set the file name and extension before writing the code it's fine it's asking for the file name so I can just put the file name as light sensor.js okay so whatever it, it is so if you're good in uh, HTML and you, you want to beautify the page or you want to uh, you want to uh, you want to do some additional stuff on HTML you can always do this but in this case I'm not going to do anything it's just uh, uh, reading the sensor information and uh, uh, sending it to our TP link uh, light bulb okay so now uh, I have uh, we have added the code snippets now all you need is just uh, save it and close okay so you can save uh, the product and you can uh, see the file saved successfully data collection rate is updated okay so just uh, exit this page and now we need to link the product to the corresponding uh, bolt iot okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to link this product to my bolt iot uh, device the microcontroller so once you click done and confirm that you want to really link this product your device will be up you can see here 
my uh, light sensor has been added my product uh, light sensor is added to the bolt iot so now all you need to do is just deploy the configuration and uh, you, we are good to go so now you can uh, click the view this device and you can see uh, just ignore this error since i'm using brave i'm getting this error you can use other browsers okay so you can see here my uh, light data i can see here it's 639 now okay if i just close the ldr sensor um, basically i as i told you right uh, so every five minutes only the data will get updated so in in case if you want to really test that everything is working fine you just need to redeploy the configuration so i have uh, closed my ldr sensor and i am redeploying the configuration here so now if you go to the graph and see the graph will be updated and you see my uh, light intensity uh, reduced so when i close the ldr sensor from 639 to 399 okay so this is basically our uh, light data so we are collecting it now and now uh, what we need to do is we are going to call the api and get these data in real time and control our tp link brightness so now uh, in the bolt iot platform you can always go to the api access here so manage your api access here so basically you will get a key here so all you need is uh, you can generate a new key if you want okay so okay so this will generate a new key and uh, all you need is just uh, copy the key or you can uh, use the url for example in my case my uh, my sensor is an analog read okay so if you just click analog read and you can choose the pin AO. okay straight away you can uh, copy the link and you can uh, paste it so you can get the device uh, data here you can see the device data here okay so let me just copy it again link copied i'm gonna paste it in my browser and this will show you the data here the value and the uh, response okay so i'm then so in my next step what i'm gonna do i'm going to read this json response and i'm going to take this value as an input and control my tp links brightness okay so let's uh, look at that now okay so as you see here we are going to use python casa api okay so i'm going to use this api to control my uh, tp link smart bulb okay along uh, integrating with the uh, bolt iot platform okay so basically you can just uh, check this github code repo i have given the link in the description so these are the supported devices so in my case my uh, bulb model is lb100 so of course this api supports it and i'm gonna use it okay so this is my code snippet so here I have uh, uh, two functions. So one is uh, listing the devices in my network and one is uh, to get the light value from the Bolt IoT platform. And another function is to control the uh, brightness of my TP-Link bulb. Okay, so basically, uh, so here I have uh, I have put my uh, access key, okay, which I copied from the Bolt IoT platform in my environment variable. And you can also do that. Okay, so you can always keep it uh, safe. Okay, then um, I'm, I have imported my access key here. And now uh, what I'm gonna do is we can just uh, we can just uh, call a discovery uh, function, okay, uh, which is a pre-built function from the TP-Link uh, Casa Python API, okay. So what you what you're gonna do is um, just uh, run your uh, Python program by calling this uh, function uh, list devices, okay. So when you run what you'll see is you'll see the list of uh, Python, uh, sorry, the list of TP-Link devices available in the network, okay. So in my case, uh, when I execute, it's running and uh, I think it's searching for the uh, devices in my network. So currently you see here, so one is I have a study uh, switch, which is uh, having the IP 192.168.1.43 and I have a study light. So 192.168.1.46. So basically I have a smart plug and a smart bulb. Okay, so so you, you got the information of both the devices here in the network. So now uh, once you get this information, you can copy the IP address of your uh, smart light. Okay, so in my case, it's 1.46. So I have uh, updated, I have created an instance of my smart bulb here with the IP address. Okay, so now uh, every time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to call the uh, light value. Okay, so I'm going to get the light value here. So what this function will do? So it will get the light value every time. Okay, and it will return the light value and the light value will be stored in this variable. So I'm comparing this variable based on the lights intensity. Okay, if my light value is more than 300. Okay, so 
uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, bulb. Okay, so which means there is enough brightness. So no, no need to uh, uh, waste uh, by waste your energy by turning on your bulb. So then, if the light value is in between 150 to 300, I'm going to set its brightness to 15. Okay, and if the light value is between 80 to 150, I'm going to set its brightness to 20. And if the light value is less than 80, which is dark, and I'm going to set the brightness to 50 percent. And you can do however you want. Okay, 100 percent or up to the, up to your use case. Okay, so basically this program will uh, will do all those uh, functionalities. Okay, so now I will show you uh, how I'm doing it in real time. So this is my uh, setup. So here I have the Bolt IoT connected to the LDR sensor. Okay, and I have a smart uh, LB100 TP-Link smart bulb here, and I have my program open here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you how it works. So basically, you need to change uh, the LDR control. So the change the function to uh, the LDR control here after discovering all your devices in the network. Okay, so now uh, let's just run this program, and let's see what's the result. So here you see the light value is 628 and above 600 and uh, let's say above 300 my light is off. So it's an off condition now. So let me just uh, uh, put some uh, cloth or something to hide this uh, light sensor. Okay, so I'm going to hide my light sensor here. So I have turned off my light sensor. Okay, so basically it's so dark now. So now when I run it, so you'll see okay the light my light bulb uh, is on now so you can see the light value is 88 okay so it's it's not uh, so so visible because i'm using my camera to show you guys if you run this program you can see the value in your monitor so based on the value it's 88 and now it is uh, bright okay so now uh, that this how it works okay so based on how you control or how how the light intensity is your light brightness will uh, increase decrease accordingly based on your if else conditions uh, set here so thanks for watching guys um, as always i have given all the the code and the prerequisites for this uh, project in my description you can please check it out and try it out at your home okay so uh, please uh, please do share your comments and thoughts uh, on uh, on my videos and uh, if, if you have any other specific recommends on iot solutions you can always drop it in comments and i will try to make uh, such videos for you guys okay so as i always say let's make technology easy pc for everyone uh, stay safe and stay healthy thank you